Okay, let's um, let's do let's reverse the order of integration on this one. Uh, standard coordinate plane y equals x, and this thing is gonna this bit is gonna carve out a region. So let's just write let's just write it out. Here's y, and it exists like so from zero to one. So um, with respect to y, um, let's see, we start at y equals 1. Okay, so let's just call this y 1, and let's just go for it. y equals 1. Um, and then, let's see, um, it, its upper limit is e to the x. So I'm going to try my best to draw just a most pristine, beautiful exponential function. I don't think it's going to happen. Ooh, actually, that turned out pretty good. Okay, y equals e to the x. Okay. And let's see here, in the x direction, it looks like this thing exists between x equals zero, that's just the y-axis, no problem there, and let's just call that x equals one right here. Okay, x equals one. Okay, so it looks like here's going to be our region, and you know, just like before, um, we're not going to do the area of this thing, but this right here, this is the base of the three-dimensional solid that we're going to take the volume of right here. Okay, so it's it's kind of like a prism, but not really, because we get you know a beautifully exponential side uh, to this thing. Okay, so um, you know I know we're going to have to find some of these uh, points of intersection right here. Um, I don't know, but let's just reverse the order of integration. So let's just discuss the uh, original order. Um, with, with respect to y, this region begins to exist at y equals one. The function y equals one. Okay, it, it ceases to exist um, once we pass the function y equals e to the x. Okay, so um, so that that's that's where our limits now. Uh, on the x direction, we're looking just for the interval that it's defined over. So we go, we look at this, and we say, okay, the interval that it, it's defined it exists over is from zero to one. Okay, so um, that, and that's that's how we got with our original one. Okay, so now let's flip these. We're gonna go with respect to x first. So I'm just gonna write x. Okay, and we're gonna figure out, okay? So along the x-axis, where does this thing begin to exist? Well, it begins to exist at y equals e to the x, okay? Um, and yes, we don't wanna stick e to the x in here. We wanna write it in terms of, of uh, y, okay? So let's just write natural log of y, natural log of e to the x, and I think you convince yourself by now that x is equal to natural log of y. That's just some algebra stuff. We know that. So I'm going to write natural log of y. Okay, that's where it, 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 it comes into play. And the region ceases to exist at, after x um, becomes greater than 1. Okay, so we can go ahead and just write regular 1 there. Okay, now let's focus on the y direction. Okay, focusing on the y direction, what happens? Well, in the y direction now, we've already defined it in terms of functions, so let's de just de define the interval on which it exists. And it looks like it exists, well, we know this is one, that's y equals one right there. So it starts at, at, at one, and the greatest value that y takes on is gonna occur right here, okay? Okay, and that, and, that, and this is the function y equals e to the x, but notice it intersects the line x equals one. So it's really e to the one. Okay, so this actual point right here, okay, let me get even sloppier here, is gonna be one e. Okay, so the maximum value uh, of the region is e. Okay, so now that we know that, let's go ahead, we'll rewrite our integral. We're taking the integral of one with respect to x, and what do we have? We had, oops, we had natural log of y, okay, up to one. Now we're gonna do dy, and let's see here, we got one all the way to e, okay? And that 
folks, is is how we do it. Okay, um, it should be how we do it at least. So I don't know. That one went actually pretty pretty quick. So I don't know. Why don't you just uh, just practice these things, you know? And you know, I'm not gonna like I said, I'm not gonna integrate this thing. That's Calc one, Calc two stuff. Uh, we know how to do that. It's just the reversing the order is confusing. Okay. So thanks for watching, and I hope this I hope this gave you uh you know uh, I hope I hope this gave you power, you know, and to go rock and roll. All right. So see you later.